On the right, we've got my old HP that I've been limping along with since 2014. On the left, we've got the new computer. Let me show you why this one has been making my life a misery to make these videos for everyone. I'm not going to show you the entire suite of problems, but this will give a pretty good indication. Opening the same project. This is that matchless video from the other day. Wait for it. Still not open. Still not quite there. It's thinking. Okay. All right, I'm not going to even show you all the various things that caused this thing to crash when I tried to do any editing and have to keep rebooting it that this thing handles flawlessly. Let's just export the, the same video on this, both computers at the same time. The video is 12 and a half minutes long. Let's see what the export times are. This one says it's estimated time remaining 1 minute 35 seconds. 19 minutes, 50 seconds, 14 minutes. Okay, got better, it's 13 minutes. This one's still at a minute 25. Okay, the new one's got 10 seconds left. This one says six minutes, 17 seconds left. By the time it is done, it has to sit and think for about five to 10 minutes. So it's really about another 16 minutes. Oops, this one's already done. Your video was exported successfully. While that one runs, I know that the video I just created here, it's going to play playback flawlessly with no problems. About I'm starting my videos recently, but every 10 saves with this one, uh, I'd have to redo the entire thing because it'd have flashing pink bars. And this is just 1080p, you know, don't ask this one to do 4k. This one would probably do 4k just, just fine. Thank you very much. So, uh, my life is about to get a lot easier. The videos that would take me three hours will probably take me one hour or less in the future. So, I'm very happy with my, my new toy.